Hi, I'm John Cleary with Beyond 20. Today we're going to go over a new feature in 9.6, which is going to allow you to create a stored expression from a custom expression. So we're going to do this in a one step. So I'm going to go up here to the top and select one step and then one step manager. And in my user folder, association none, I'm just going to right click and create a new one step. I'm going to give this one step a name. We're just going to call it test one step. And then we're going to go down here and then add update variables and stored values. And you'll notice that this screen looks a bit different. I'm sure that'll be covered in another video. But we're going to go ahead and name our variable. I'm going to call this test variable because it's easy. And for the value, I'm going to right click and then scroll down. And I'm going to create a new custom expression. For this custom expression, I'm going to call this one day ago. And then the editor type, we're going to change this to date time because we're going to alter the date. And for this expression, we're going to call a system function, which is the current date time. And we want negative one days. So current date time minus one day. So one day ago. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice this says one day ago. And you may have seen something on this previous window. Convert to stored expression. So if I click this button, it'll ask me what I want to name it, if I want to give it a description, and the scope of where it should go. And from here, I can select global, role, or user. And theoretically, it could have an association, but in this case, it has none. This way, it'll be applicable in nearly any scenario. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And then if we add another variable, go ahead and give this variable a name. We'll call it second variable. And we'll give it another value. We'll browse for our new expression. And here it is. Association none. Global folder. Called one day ago. And if you examine the properties, you can see it's the same expression. This should make things much easier when creating commonly used custom expressions that can be referenced in multiple places as you configure your shareable system. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And please also feel free to check out our other videos. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.